CBS 2 News this morning. 539 coming up, helping asylum seekers. The city leaders are working to find them jobs and opening more shelters. The new steps being taken. 546, the city is taking more action to help asylum seekers. As CBS News' Lisa Rosner reports, that includes helping them find jobs. There were many rounds of applause for more than two dozen asylum seekers at the nonprofit La Colmena on Staten Island Sunday. They can receive work permits 180 days after filing asylum applications, but while waiting, this group took a 40-hour course required by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, for anyone working in construction. Giovanni arrived with his wife and two-year-old from Venezuela last month. De mucho sacrificio. It required uh, much attention and that, um, but he's very grateful to have finished it and that he's, he said, I'm ready, I'm just ready to contribute. 30 people completed the program and for all of them, this is one of the first opportunities for them to go out and find work. The must be a relief team with funding from real estate investor Leon Goldenberg donated new OSHA approved steel toe work boots. I'm also a child of Holocaust survivors. Uh, my parents uh, came to America in 1949 and they struggle the same way that these people are struggling. People don't know how difficult it is for them to get the equipment that they need as well and we're just so grateful. We have also uh, have now about $50,000 worth of children's clothing and coats that we're giving out in different venues. He says it's all about treating people with dignity, no matter where they come from. On Staten Island, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.